been forced to fire in the air to disperse some rowdy youth who had started pelting President Uhuru Kenyatta's convoy with stones after a political rally in Kisumu. Now the youth who were chanting anti-jubilee slogans also forced the Deputy President William Ruto to cut short his speech after they jeered him. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Tairo begins our broadcast from the Lakeside City. Yet again, the Jubilee leadership led by President Uru Kenyatta focused their presidential campaigns to regions perceived to be opposition strongholds and to be specific Homa Bay and Kisumu counties. As the breweries go down in Kisumu, where the government is injecting 15 billion shillings to start a brewing plant, all was well as the locals wore Jubilee t-shirts, eagerly awaiting the president. <laughs> But as soon as they arrived and the deputy president took the mic to MC the function, all hell broke loose as the crowd started chanting anti-Ruto slogans. And they did not stop there. This forced Ruto to cut short his speech and give the local leaders a chance to calm the crowd. That also seemed not to work as the locals also wanted to listen to the president. Their demand was granted. And as soon as he was through, the crowds got more rowdy and started chanting NASA slogans. Things go to Tovand after a section of the youth tried to pelt the president's convoy with stones. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Police had to intervene and disperse the crowds. However, no one was injured during the running battles. The scenario reminiscent of the reception that the founding father of the nation, the late Jomo Kenyatta, received in Kisumu in 1969. <laughs> In Homa Bay County, where the president commissioned the construction of the Rusinga Bridge, the president also asked the locals to maintain peace before and after the elections. In 2013 presidential results, Uhuru got less than 2% of the votes cast in Kisumu County and less than 15% in Nyanza region. This may just be the last political rally by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy in Kisumu County before Kenyans go to the August 8th elections. But given the reception that they received as Jubilee leaders, then it goes ahead to show that the region is still an opposition stronghold. Chris Tairo, KTN News, in Kisumu City.